This is a tutorial on how to use your agent control panel. By now you've been sent an email that has a login and a link to your agent control panel. When you log in, it's going to look like this. And this is a snapshot of your control panel. It's going to give you your most recent leads, some tips and tricks, and some quick links. Uh, you'll have to set up your own quick links. And I'll show you how to do that. So you can get to these this information a little bit quicker. Or you can just use the menu up here. So to begin, we're going to go to Bio. And this is where you're going to edit the primary information that is going to be shown on your agent page. So this is your agent page. Um, you're going to find that under your team page, so your roster. So when you go there and you click on your name, you're going to see your information. So it's very important that you update this information because it's also going to show this information when somebody goes and views one of your properties. So if you go to the property itself and view the details, it's going to show your picture and it's going to be able, people are going to be able to contact you from this page. People are much more likely to contact you if you have a complete profile. So the first thing you're going to do is fill in your information. You're going to want to make sure your contact information is complete. Uh, you can add in your address, phones, cell phone. Make sure that you use the proper structure for this information. And you can write up a bio about yourself. When you're done, you're going to click on Save Changes. You should see this little green box pop up saying it was saved successfully. And then you can go back up to the top. You can also change your password here. You're going to need your current password in order to do that. So type your current password in here, your new password in here, and then save it. Next, you're going to go to Office. You want to make sure that you're added to the appropriate offices. Right now, this agent's been added to the Murfreesboro office, but I can add additional ones by checking the box and clicking Add Office. This, if you don't make your changes, it will prompt you to do so. Your photo is going to be through the Photo tab. You can upload a photo and directly from your computer, and it will save it right in IDX Broker. If you currently have a photo and you don't want to use that, you need to delete this information out here so you can swap out the photo, save it, and then come back and upload it after you've deleted it and saved it. The next tab is MLS, and you want to make sure that your MLS number and your agent ID is proper here. This is really important because on your page, it's going to show your featured listings, and your listings are pulled directly by this number. So sometimes this may be incorrect because there may be several different agents listed in here with the same name. So you want to make sure that you have the proper agent ID here. The next item is one of the most important ones and this is your subheader. This is actually going to go with your search page. Your search page link will be here and you can actually copy it and come up here and look at it. Currently your search page is not going to have any information uh, for you to designate that this is your page. It's just going to be the regular search and you can send people to this page so that they can search homes and the lead will go to you. So this is a great way for you to designate uh, as a link so that people can search the entire MLS and make sure that you get the lead. You can even buy a domain name and have it forward to this URL and when people come here it will make sure that any time that they fill out the form to create an account that it goes to you. So on this page you may want to put in your photo at the top. You may want to put in a little message to people. Um, it's basically going to customize this page. One of the neat things that I like to put in would be
okay so if you see any listings that you're interested in please contact me I can often pull more details for that property than you'll see online you can contact me Sheila Lunsford directly at and then I added the phone number you can also change the font for this if you'd like and you can actually also change colors of things make your phone number a different color this WYSIWYG editor is very valuable and will allow you to make those changes right there. Next, you're going to go to your roster. Oops, don't forget to save. Once you've saved it, if you come to the search page and update it, you're going to see this message and that's going to stay consistent so if anybody goes in and searches it stays on top of the search page and if they view a listing it's going to stay up here as well next you're going to go to the roster you definitely want to be displayed on the roster so this should always be checked if you'd like to redirect your link to a personal website you're going to have to contact support at your site needs me and we'll add in your website URL and we can also add in a display text link. Next you're going to go to property update. This is the email that gets sent out when somebody signs up for a property uh, listing account on one of your pages. So if somebody were to come and they were to like this property, they can actually save it and it's going to ask them to create an account where they can put in their name, email, and phone and sign up. Once they've signed up, they can sign up to receive new properties that hit the market in their price range or whatever their search criteria may be. Maybe they typed in a three bedroom, two bathroom home in Franklin uh, and they put in special criteria. They can receive alerts for that. They can set up several different saved property searches and get alerts for each one. And that will email them daily new properties. When it does email them, this is going to be the subheader that goes on top of the update and then down here you're going to go ahead and add in your signature so the email that they receive every day will also have your contact information if you'd like to see a sample after you fill this out and save it then you're going to click send now and it will send you a sample the other thing that you can do is you can be copied on these messages so right now it's going to send you a summary every day and if you want you can get an individual so every time anybody requests a property update you're going to get a copy of it the summary is usually the better one because then you're going to get one email where the individual is going to send you multiple depending on how many clients you have signed up. Next you're going to go to languages and in this case you can choose any of the languages that you speak. This is very helpful if somebody is searching for an agent with a specific language. So make sure that you are checking all of the languages that you speak and hit save. Lastly, you have the CRM integration. This is important if you are using Top Producer or Tribus. These are the only two CRMs that IDX Broker will integrate with. And if you want to go ahead and integrate your Top Producer with it, you simply choose Yes and Save. And it's going to integrate with your Top Producer. You're going to have to log in a Top Producer and you're going to have to use this information in your Top Producer configuration in order for all leads to be pushed directly to top producers so that you can market to them. For Tribus, if you choose yes, you're going to put your user ID in here and save the changes there. Once you've completed your bio area, there's a couple other places under the main dashboard that you might want to view. The message center is one. Sometimes there's messages that are specific to your account. You may want to come in here and check these to see if you have any messages. You can also change your password easily through the change password. If you want to add a quick link to any of these sections, you're going to notice that when you go to a section, if you click the drop down right here, it's going to offer you the option for quick link. And if you click it, it's automatically going to add it to your dashboard right there. For listings, if you want to go and edit your listings, you can come here and you can choose between active, sold pending, and supplemental. Once you've chosen active, sold pending, or supplemental, you can also go here and add the quick link. Prior to clicking on one of these, you will not be able to add the quick link, so make sure you choose one first. 
This is going to show your active listings. The benefit to this is that most MLSs will only allow you to add so many pictures or so much comments in the remarks for any said listing. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and click on your listing and add more details. Fill out more of the form that you, if you can. If there's anything in here, a custom link URL, maybe you have a virtual tour that you want to add, you want to add any picture, you want to add more content in here, this allows you to actually add more information, which is great because many times people will go and they will search for a specific listing in the search engines and they will visit multiple sites to see if they can find more information or more pictures. By having more pictures and information on your individual listings, you're going to get more hits and ultimately more leads. So fill out the property information as fully as you can and then click edit property up info and this will update. If you want to add a geolocation, you can add the latitude and longitude here and it's actually going to map it. It should automatically map it. You can also have the option to without having to do that. So if this information is not here, then you want to update it. To add images, you're going to click on edit images and here you can add as many images as you want. Currently it's going to pull all the images that you have in the MLS, but if you have more, I would highly recommend adding as many images as you can because, again, this is something that's going to draw more consumers to view this listing here. Your sold pending. To edit your sold and pending listings, you're simply going to, once you get to the sold pending page, you're going to come here to status and click it. You're going to change the status to sold, pending, or contingent, whichever it may be. You're going to go ahead and put the selling price and the date in here. And once you've added that, you'll save the changes. This is going to save this property to your account indefinitely and allow it to be displayed on the sold, pending page. Supplemental properties are a great way for you to add in properties that are not listed in the MLS. This could be rentals or for sale by owners. Once you add them into here, they're going to become searchable. So you'll be able to actually, clients will be able to actually find them in the search results when they type in their criteria. It will also email them to any clients as an update if that property matches their search result. To add a supplemental property, you're simply going to go to Supplemental. And you can go to Create. Then you can add all of the information in here that you need. There isn't an MLS, you're not going to choose that. You're going to choose your property type and add fill in all of the details. After you've added the property, you'll be able to add the geo location and more images. Once you've added it, you can go back and manage it when you need to make changes to it or change the status to sold. One of the best parts about your IDX broker admin control panel is going to be the leads section. When you go into the leads and go to manage, you're going to see all of the leads that have been assigned to you or that have signed up on your page. You can filter the leads if you have many by choosing the different options here. And once you have found the lead that you want to edit, you can flag it. You can just view the basic information. You can log in as the lead. You can let edit the lead info. You can view the notes. You can delete them, or you can send credentials to a lead. Starting by logging in as the lead, this is going to show you their account. They can perform a search. It also shows you the agent down here. View their account information, view their saved searches, and view their saved properties. Performing a search is going to bring them directly to the search page where they can create any kind of search they want, choosing whatever fields and options they want to find in a property. Viewing their account information is going to allow them to fill in all of their details. You can come in here and change any details that you may want to as well. Viewing their saved searches is a valuable tool because you can tell if they've saved any searches. If the client wants to contact you, they can also contact you directly from this page simply by clicking on your name, filling out the form, and sending you a message. Now, another thing that you can do is check out the lead info directly from your dashboard. In here, you can view information about the, prop the client. You can see when they visited the site, what they looked at, 
what property updates they've signed up for, saved properties, saved searches, and you can edit the lead information. This is the best way for you to edit this client. Property updates right here are going to show you the ones that they've already been sent by email so you can view the activity of the client. Via the saved properties, you can add and edit saved properties. Clicking on this button is going to bring you directly to a page that shows different properties they've already looked at. These ones are no longer active, so you can delete them by choosing Delete Saved Property. If you want to add a property, you can give it a name right here, choose an MLS number, and put in the listing number and save it. You can also choose whether to receive updates. Saved searches works much the same way. If they have any saved searches, you're going to see them here. If you want to add or edit their saved searches, you're going to simply click on the button, and then you're going to click to choose to save a search. Choose what search page you want to use. This is searching by the property address. A basic search is going to be able to allow you to search by city, price range, bedrooms, bathroom, and the basic information. Listing ID is going to allow you to pull a search by listing IDs and property search is going to have all the advanced options. Editing the lead is going to allow you to change the information. And if you go into your notes, you can add notes about the things that you've done. If you want to export your leads, you can come here and click on manage. You're going to click here, you'll check the boxes next to their name. Choose the fields you want to export. Give it a name. And then hit save. So for instance, maybe you want to pull all the fields. You want to save it as leads. and save. Now it's going to bring me back to this page where I've saved this lead. I can view it or export it now. And if I do, it's going to open up in an Excel format where I can view all of the details for these leads. This is a great way to import them into other programs that you may have or CRMs. That's it. That's how you're going to use your agent control panel. If you have questions, there's also a knowledge base here that has some handy tips and tools and shows you how to use your agent control panel and gives you other ideas. You can also email us at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our YouTube channel to view some helpful videos on using IDX Broker Platinum.